Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today I have a new product showcase. So I got in a bunch of cool stuff for my website and today um, the last of it came. So I've been saving it up for a little while here and just yesterday I got my website fixed on the mobile. So I'm so excited. Um, here is my card. I will link my website in the description box below. It is www.beadonawirejewelry.com and like I said yesterday I got the mobile site fixed so all the categories are visible on there now so you don't have to search through the whole site to find things so I'm so excited about that. Um, it's been a long time coming and I'm so thankful um, but anyway I have a bunch of new stuff that I'm uploading today so I want to show it to you because um, yeah, I just like to show it on video. Sometimes it doesn't come out that well on camera. So this might be a little bit of a long video because I do have a lot of stuff. I've been saving up my shipments as they come in. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the beads, okay? So I got in, and I've had these before, but I got in some more of these yellow rondelles. So excuse my blister guys i um, have been landscaping and digging and yeah i made a blister on my hand and it's sore sorry i probably should have stuck a band-aid on that but i just saw it there i forgot about it but anyway these are um uh, i think they're four by six yellow rondelles and they are very very sparkly and very pretty i like the color they're bright and so those are up on the website and then I got in some Dalmatian Jasper. Now this is a matte and it's really pretty. Like um, they look almost like they're velvet <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. But Dalmatian Jasper, they have a lot of um, little spots on them and they're cute. They do look like little tiny Dalmatian beads. Oh, it would help if I was on camera. Sorry. Um, yeah, little tiny Dalmatian beads. So I got those up there. And then I got in these, <laughs> I ordered these because I thought they looked so pretty on the website and they are very pretty. Um, and I'm going to show you them. They're all hooked together, like all the colors are hooked together, so I'm going to have to separate them. But these are just some glass beads and they are like a purple and an orange um, together. I don't know <laughs> how you would say it, but they're very pretty. They're actually prettier than I thought they would be. They were really pretty on the website, but when they came, I was like, ooh, those are really pretty. Um, and here is a teal and yellow and greenish. It's like the colors kind of blend into each other. They're really, really pretty. So there's those. Here is a purple and blue and green one. That's that one. Here's like a pink and yellow and orangey. one and is there another one they're all kind of hooked together oh yeah here's like an orange and or a pink and blue and purpley one so yeah I will have to separate all these before I put them up on the site but there they are in all their glory they're very pretty and I don't know what they're called like um, you know what that kind of color coding on there is but yeah I like them a lot and then I got in these teeny tiny teal rondelles. These are so pretty. They're sparkly and they're just like a deep teal color. Um, and these are four millimeter. They're tiny or maybe they, these might be three millimeter. They're teeny tiny little rondelles. There they are. And these are a tad bit bigger. I'll have the sizes on the website. And um, these are like a sky blue color. They're really pretty too. These would look really pretty in um, an ocean themed because they kind of look like sea glass almost. But look how it's sparkly. I love them. Okay. And then I got in these, um, these are kind of like marble style beads. And again, these are all hooked together, which makes it really hard for me to show you them. Single colored, but I'm going to try and I just drop something in the floor. Hold on. Okay. So there is a teal one and it's got like black if you can see this marble style coating on there or little marble style things in there they're really pretty too um but this is the teal one there is a brown it shows up the marbling shows up better on these lighter colored ones this is like a gray oh i'm sorry goodness this is a gray 
And we have pink and gray. And purple. So I thought those were really cool. They're different. Yeah, let's get them out of the way. Okay. And then these, I love these. These are white rondelles. They are so sparkly. Look at the sparkle on those. Oh, I love them. And they are almost like a very pale green tint when they're all when you have a bunch of them together like this. But then when you separate them, they look whiter. I don't. They look white anyway, but I don't know how to describe them. They really are pretty. Um, yeah, I like this color a lot. It's so white. It's almost got a pale tint to it of green. I don't know how to even explain that, but they are very very pretty. Those are up there. These are some little blue ones. It's like a matte blue color. They're not really matte. They are shiny. Opaque. That's what I'm trying to think of. An opaque blue. Um, but they're really pretty too. And then I have an opaque green here. If I can get it untangled. Here we go. So these are the same as the blue ones I just held up. But these are green. So like an opaque. They are so sparkly. Okay. And then these I love. These are like a two-tone purple. Look at the sparkle on them. They're so pretty. Yeah, I love them. I just love the sparkly beads. And then I got these um, frosted glass in an 8 millimeter. These are so bright, you guys. They're like a neon orange, like construction cone orange. But I like them. I think they're really pretty. I think they almost look like they're lit up inside because they're so neon. But I have these in a 6 millimeter as well. So these are the 8 millimeter. And another color of frosted glass beads. These are some blue and white, or blue and clear frosted glass. I have a bunch of frosted, or not frosted glass, crackle glass. <laughs> I have a bunch of crackle glass up on the site. So this is just a different color that I didn't have already. Okay. And then we have little six millimeter white frosted glass beads. And again, these are kind of like the sea glass looking beads. So these are white. They're really pretty. Frosted. These are six millimeter. I had some four millimeter ones and I'm out of those, but those are six. And then another frosted glass are these yellow ones. And I thought these were really cool. Um, I didn't have any yellow frosted glass, so I thought they were really pretty. I love the frosted glass. I think it's so beautiful. I'm always excited to get that. Okay. Then I had some shell beads. Now these I'm going to try to show up close because they're kind of hard to see on the pictures. But um, if you can see when I turn them, they have got the, they're like mother of pearl kind of shell looking. There, maybe that one's showing up. But this is a pink one. I don't have very many, just a couple of these. This is an orange one. It's actually got a cracked bead right there. I'll have to take that, that one off. But there's an orange one. I might just keep that strand. <laughs> I love these. I think they're so pretty. Here's a purple. Okay. Then this one, it's not black, I don't think. It is so, I think it's a super, super deep red or burgundy. But it, I mean, seriously, it looks black. I can't, honestly, I have them black. There, you can kind of see the red tones in it when I hold it up against black. But it is so deep burgundy or deep red that it, honestly, when you don't have something black right with it, it looks black. It is really dark. And then these are some really dark green. They're pretty too. You can see that shell look in there. They're really pretty. Those are the shell ones. And then last but not least in the beads, I have another um, color rondelles. These are like a really pretty um, sea green or seafoam green. That's what my mom always called this. She had carpet this color and it's seafoam green. Um, but they're beautiful. They have a beautiful sparkle to them. So that's all the beads. Now, well, no, there's some seed beads here. Let me show you these. So these are, I've got these four colors of seed beads um, that are new. This is like an, I don't know if these are considered an AB coating, but they are really pretty. Um, they're almost like ombre. These are 11 O's and they look very uniform to me. Um, these seed beads do. I'm kind of impressed with them. They look, they remind me of Toho's. They're kind of a matte, but yet they have this AB touch to them, if you can see it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some yellow. 
They're really pretty. And some green. Okay, so those are the new colors of seed beads. I have some other ones up there. I have like a gray or a silver and a cream colored, I think. And then I ordered these Lucite flowers. I thought this was such a pretty color. I hadn't seen this before. It's a, like a teal color of the little. These are the tiny, the, um, see, here you go. You put next to the penny. These are the ones that you use on the bottom of the bigger flowers. So the big flowers that are up on my website that I hand paint, this is what you use up inside there is like the little skirt up inside there. But I thought they were really pretty in this teal color. So those will be up on the site. Okay, now, I got a bunch of metal and pendants and stuff. So, first up, whoop, here is a pretty pendant. This is like a dried flower in between. It's like a ball, and you can even see the wire going down through it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a dried flower, and that's where it's at next to the penny. It's about the size of a penny or just a tad bit bigger. Okay. And then I got this dragonfly pendant. I thought it was really cool. It would be pretty patinaed even, I think. Um, it's not double-sided, and it's got a very fake chaton right there. <laughs> that is not um, by any means Swarovski or anything like that. But like I said, you could patina this. I think it would be really pretty. Um, and so there it is. It's pretty big. That's it next to the penny. Okay, and then I got in some more kitty cat charms. Now, these are different than the last ones I had. Um, there he is. He's really cute. <laughs> so I got some of those. I got this new filigree piece. I think this is really pretty. Now it's not real big, it's kind of small. It would be really pretty on earrings. Okay. Um, I got this fish charm in. I thought this was really pretty. I like the colors in it. There it is next to the penny. And then I got this mermaid in, which is really pretty. I like her, she's paved. Um, I think she's really pretty. There she is next to the penny. Um, the fish is not double-sided. Neither is the mermaid. Neither is the cat. None of these are double-sided. So, um, there she is. And then we got these moon pendants. Now, I think these are so pretty. And I actually have some pearl, um, different colored cabochons coming. But they're not here yet. So, the moon pendant, as of right now, I don't have a druzy or anything on my website that would fit it. There's a druzy, but as you can see, it's definitely not the right size for that. But if you had like a druzy or even a rivoli would fit in there. Um, but like I said, I will have, so I've got some coming that will fit in there, but they were on back order. So there that is in silver and here it is in gold. <coughs> Two little um, hangy little pendants. They're, I think they're cute. Okay. And then this pendant, I think, is really pretty as well. And I do have a druzy that will fit in it. So, I've got these gold druzies. And it kind of, I mean, it has a little around the edge, but I still think it looks cute in there. And then I have these silver druzies that will go in or go right on it. If you wanted to glue that on, you could. Or, of course, whatever you have, whatever cabochon you've got. Um, I like that one on there. I thought that was really pretty. So, that's a, um, just a silver pendant that you could put your own cab in and like I said I have these two druzies for sale so I thought these they're not real they're just acrylic or resin or whatever but they sure looked real <laughs> they um they're very pretty but they've even got the 3d like the effect of the druzy there so there's a I believe this one is 12 millimeter and this one's 10 or 10 and 8 I'll have it on the website I can't remember but this is a gold one and they really are pretty these are pretty just to glue a stud on the back, and you've got a really pretty earring. Um, that, they are really pretty like that. And then here's another pendant piece. Now, I don't have this cab right here on my website. I'm just showing it. Let's see what it looks like in the pendant. So I think these are really pretty as well. It's just like a filigreed piece that you can glue your cab in. Okay, I got these... Um, these soldered junk, these are not open. These are closed, soldered closed rings. But I love these because they are plain on one side and they are um, like faceted on the other side. And I also have these in teardrops. I have triangles and one other shape, I think. I can't remember what, but the circles are, these are new. Okay. 
And then here's another pendant piece that I got. I thought this was so pretty. It's like a matte gold, um, but it's got the waves. They're kind of 3D there, and the pearls 3D. I just thought they were really cute. Okay. Let's see what else I've got over here. I have an anchor. I've got some new anchor charms. There they are. <laughs> really cute. I got some sailboats. There's a sailboat. And these are tiny. They're just little charms. I guess I haven't been showing the stuff with the penny. I'll lay it right there. Okay. And these are little tiny dolphin beads. These are so cute. They have a little hole that goes right up through. Like there's your tail and it goes right up through his head. So he would sit like this on your earring <laughs> or whatever you put him on. He's really cute. He could also be, I mean, you could also use a head pin up through here and just have him dangle. That would be cute too. But he's tiny. How little he is. Um, I got in some more of these spacers, these fancy spacers. I like these really well. So I got more of those in. And this is a really cute little, whoop, little charm. So it's a fish in like a light bulb. <laughs> I don't know why it's in a light bulb, but it looks like a real goldfish in there. It really does. It's cute. So that's on the site. I'll put it beside the penny. Um, so these are starfish beads. It's actually a bead, not a charm. Those are up on the site right now. And this little octopus. I love him. I think he's really cute. There he is. <laughs> so I thought they were really cute too. He's up on the site. Um show you this is like a conch shell bead it's tiny and it's really pretty really cute there it is next to the penny you can see how little it is and here we have a seahorse he is double-sided actually the seahorse is there he is little charm and then this is a cool cabochon that's up on my website it almost looks like a seashell kind of effect if you can see the lines but it's just A, B. It's really pretty. Let's see what it looks like in this pendant right here. Yeah. See that? It's just really pretty and shiny. I don't know if it's an A, B coating or what, but it's really pretty. Um, okay, and then I got these beads. These are like a whale tail or a mermaid tail or a fish tail you could use um, to bead like the mermaids that I do is what I was thinking of with this but I think it would really make a cute whale if you had some blue beads and but yeah those are up on the site right now these little spacers I got in some or bead caps I got some more of them in because they've been pretty popular up there too a little bead cap whoops um this I love I think this is really cute let me get it open and I will show you how it works it's a locket so whoops it's a little paw print locket and you open it up and you can put a six millimeter bead in there and it's a pendant or little earrings I thought this was so cute so it's just a little paw little you know love for your furry friend that's that. It's tiny. It's not real big. It'd be cute for, really cute for earrings. There it is against the penny. And then, oh my goodness, continuing on in the um, animal bead caps and strange bead caps that I've been coming up with. So, I got this. If you can see this bottom piece and this top piece. And it makes a dog. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I put, I guess this is like a, I think it's like a 12 or 16 millimeter bead in there, but look at the dog. He's adorable. So I just have this head pin folded over so he would stay together so I could show you. But yeah, I thought those were really funny. And then I got a bunch of these little angel wings in. So these right here, they are teeny weeny little angel wings, but I'm going to show you a couple pairs of earrings that I've made with them. So I haven't got these on ear wires yet, but here's a pair. Here's a dragonfly, and all he is is bicones and the two angel wings facing each other, and then a bigger bicone at the top, and then I kind of bend it to the side so it looks like he's kind of flying. So there's that dragonfly. There's the mate to it. Turn it the right way so it they fit, they mirror each other. Ah, it won't stay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then these little angels. So these are 
the little flowers that I just had out here that are, are lost. Oh, here it is. So I think these are the same size. Let me look here. Nope, these are a little bit bigger, but you could still use them. But these are up on my website, and it just makes a little angel. So you've got your little flowers layered here, and both of these are on my website. And then your little wing bead and a rondelle, a pearl, and a little spacer, and it makes the adorable little angel. Last year, I sold tons of these little angel um, earrings. So here's another one you can do with this elongated bicone, the wings, a pearl, and a rondelle. So there's endless possibilities with the little angels. I made tons of them last year and sold them at a craft show. They sold like hotcakes. I don't think I, I don't even know if I had any left. I don't think I did. But, um, so they're really cute. So that is everything new up on the website. It's a ton of stuff. I got to get off here and get busy uploading it because it is not all uploaded yet. But it will be here very soon. And like I said, my mobile site is fixed. Um, I have a video out showing just exactly how to shop on there. Um, just make sure when you click on a category that you scroll all the way down to the bottom and it will show all of the products in that category. So I'm really, really thankful that that's fixed. So yeah, I'm going to get off here and get this stuff uploaded to the site. And you guys have a great rest of the evening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!